Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be making some burgers. So I did a video on how I prepare for some of my recipes. So basically these were the uh, vegetables that the video was on. So I coated them with salt, black pepper, garlic powder, paprika and um, chili flakes. But I'll leave a link below so you can see how I prep for my recipes so this i'm going to use to make the burgers so these ones over here for the burgers and for the burger buns sorry and then over here the green beans i'm gonna green peas sorry so for the green peas i'm going to be using it to make the um burgers so i've got like half of a roasted um sweet pepper there a little bit of just a little um bit of onion and one clove of garlic over there so I've already coated these, so last night I prepped for this, so I coated this with salt, black pepper, garlic powder and paprika and I believe I put yet yeah, chili flakes as well. So it's going to be a spicy one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grill these in a griddle pan and then I'm going to bake them after. With this one over here, I'm going to pop this in my food processor and then I'm going to get mixing. I haven't boiled the peas by the way, so they're not boiled, they're just defrosted. So that's all I needed, I don't want them to be boiled because when I'm grilling them, then they will cook, but I don't want them to double cook, okay? So let's get cooking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have this food processor, so everything, and as I said before, I coated them last night and left them to marinate overnight so yes so and then I'm going to um, add time to this I'm gonna add time to it but I won't have I won't have the time just yet I'll have it after so now I'm going to add one tablespoon of oat flour don't have oat flour you can add breadcrumbs to it so but um, if you want it to be gluten-free then you'd have to add gluten-free bread crumbs to it yeah or gluten-free flour to it I forgot to tell you that I also had um, one teaspoon of my green seasoning so last night when I was prepping for it, I had a teaspoon of my green seasoning. So can you see what it looks like? So this is the consistency that we want. So I'm going to take you over to show you. Um, so I'm going to leave this to rest for a little bit. And um, I'm going to show you how I grill the, um, the buns. So as you can see... As you can see, I've got some extra virgin olive oil in the griddle pan and I turn down the cooker as low as possible. So this by the way is sweet and I'm just going to do them first, they can all together, oh yeah that's lovely, beautiful. And then I've got the sweet potatoes. I'm not quite sure how long I'm gonna leave these to grill for because this is a new recipe. If you have watched my previous video of how I prep for, for a recipe or for recipes, then you'd have heard in that video that it's a new recipe i don't normally post the video unless i actually try test it and see that it works if so this is this is new for me so i'm unsure as to how long i will allow these to grill for but obviously i'm going to just use my judgment on how to do it also i just want to say that this video is a dedication to mental health and the reason why I'm doing this is that sometimes you can get so moody that you're not in the mood to talk to anyone, you don't want to see anyone and um, I'm like that all my life and um, cooking 
I did like cooking at first, but I realized that cooking helps me to like calm myself and um, just calm my mind and think about what I'm doing in the kitchen. So yeah, and then also, as you can see, most of my videos, the food are always colorful. And that is something that is really, really, I like to see that. It, it, it's, it soothes me whenever I have different colors and variety in my food. So I do like that. So this, as I said before, is a dedication to mental health. And um, for anybody who's out there who's going through any form of moodiness, downtime, depression, feeling sad, feeling lonely, um, sometimes you can just make like a fruit bowl, um, like some salad, some some form of colourful food, fruits a, like a fruit salad, so it's colourful as you know, or just a normal salad, vegetable salad, or it could be like a Buddha bowl because of different things going on in the bowl and different types of flavours and uh, so you could do that and um, as you can see I'm doing some burgers that are very very colourful you're gonna be with me today whilst I'm doing this video so this is my first trial and I'm hoping that it goes well So that's one burger. I think it's okay. I think my my plate is too small. I'd love to get three burgers out of it. Because the fact that I'm making three different types of buns three burgers waiting to be grilled so this is what they are looking like at the moment so I'm going to remove um, two of them from the griddle pan and then I'm just going to place them on a baking tray So that's the squash. Okay, as you can see, I managed to get this one in. So that's good.
chicken peas in the oven. I'm about to turn the burgers and um, we will see how that goes. So now they're finished, I'm just going to take them out of the griddle pan. all the vegetables um, slash buns for the burgers so I had them in the oven for an hour and a half and on gas mark eight. so over here we've got the um, burgers and some tomatoes red onion and some greens I quickly want to show you how soft they are so so you can see that they're properly baked so yeah very soft Yeah, I made a spread yesterday, day before yesterday. So I've made a spread day before yesterday out of yellow split lentils. Yes, so I'm going to add that as the base. And now we're just going to do the toppings. And we're just going to top it up. For this, however, you can use cheese. If you want to, you can use vegan cheese, you can use normal cheese, or you can just skip the cheese altogether. At the moment, I think I want to skip the cheese altogether. I'm gonna go in with the tomatoes. Now I'm going with going in with all the leafy greens, and you can top off yours with lettuce or whatever you want to but I'm using something quite different I'm thinking okay perfect am I overshadowing okay I don't know if I should have put those on the, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. So those are my roasted sweet peppers. I like it, it looks beautiful. I hope it tastes delicious too. So I'm going in with the burger. I don't know if I did this the correct way around, but to be honest, I really like this one over here. The sweet potato one, because I can see what is going on there. The rest I can't see, so, but it's okay. It should be okay, I think. I think I'm going to trim them. And I forgot about the uh, beetroot, so I'm just gonna top them up with the beetroot. So I forgot about those. 
it's not a lot of beamer, it's just, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. So now, and then now, I'm going to coat the top layer of the buns with some more of my spread and you can use ketchup as well I have got ketchup that I made at the weekend so yeah we can go in with ketchup as well if you want it oh that looks beautiful so, so as you can see I'm just spreading everything so this goes here oh that looks lovely I can't wait to try them not all of them at once probably half of each or probably a little of each because I don't think you can eat all of this in one go so yeah and then it's to figure out what turns where I won't be tasting them on camera, but I will tell you what they taste like um, in the comment section below. So as you can see guys, this is my beautiful, delicious, colourful burgers. So over here we've got the sweet squash and sweet potatoes. So yes, so this is my first time doing this um, recipe and I am really, really happy with the results thank you guys for watching so this is my little twist on how to like feel happy and um feed yourself good food whilst you're feeling depressed moody lonely any form of those feelings and um for me and um, this is just my take on it whenever i'm feeling like low or moody um, I tend to cook and I realize that it it makes me feel happier and as I said early on in the video that also the colors of the food the colors in the food make me happy so I do like to put or inject colors into my food and I just want to say thank you for watching my video and if you do like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. have a lovely day Bye.